Hello, we are live on Direct Mail Monday, January 21st, 2019. Just home from hosting an event over the past five days in sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with some of my very sharp entrepreneur clients, as well as some of the sharpest marketing minded entrepreneurs on earth. Had a fantastic time. Wish you were there. Lee Werner is here. Great seeing you. Um, came back home and no mail today. It's a holiday. Dr. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I just love saying all those additions to his name, the Reverend, the Doctor, the Junior, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the uh, I don't know if it's the first one, but I remember the first, if it's the first federal holiday created in my lifetime, or the only one, I think President's Day also. I remember when they combined Lincoln's Day, Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday made a President's Day, and uh, but I remember the very first Dr. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I think it was 1971, if I remember correctly, and I remember I had a little button that I got in school, and I kept that for years, and in all the moves I made over the years, I don't know where it is. I'd love to have that original button, um, but I love the day because I remember the man and what he did for uh, the world, certainly for the country, and uh, man, I just uh, every time I think of him, I just think what a ripoff that uh, somebody went and assassinated him so early in life, and nobody has yet taken over the mantle of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I mean, there are some who have tried, but no one has uh, led that movement like he did. And so uh, what a loss for all of us anyway. So happy Dr. Martin Luther King Day to everybody. Michael is here. Rich is here. Jim is here. Everybody else uh, that I see on the list. And uh, let's get right to it. So I had a whole bunch of mail in my mailbox from last week. But one piece in particular really caught my eye, and I'm going to focus on this exclusively in this video, so we'll see how long the video goes. But check this out. This is a just a phenomenal example of how to make money with a newsletter. It's pretty much the number one easiest and most cost-effective way to market your business and get a ton of loyalty in your business, which will lead to a ton of repeat business, ton of referrals, and even if you do it right, you get a bunch of new business from it, like this one, which was mailed to non-customers, just mailed to everybody in an area, and there were so many things done right, and I didn't even go through it all, but just as I leafed through a few things, I was like, holy moly, this thing is really well done, so let's take a look at it in a little detail. First of all, check it out. It is named after a website, so they've They've registered the website of the zip code and possibly, if you ask me, a whole bunch of zip codes. And they're sending out a whole bunch of these different versions. So this one is the 85207.com version. It's your community connection. And when I looked at it, I said, oh, is it all about a community that's in that zip code? And I'm like, no, it's from a real estate agent. Very smart, this KT Klaus team, whoever they are. Look what they've done. So they've got this little local market update on the corner in this, uh, I don't know, total dollar volume sold for the year, $7 million, or maybe of all time, with a median sale price of 515000 So maybe this is just going to affluent uh, communities around the area of which we are in because maybe people looking to buy a you know, hundred or $200,000 home, this isn't for them. They're putting themselves out as a kind of a, an affluent realtor, maybe not prime luxury with the two, three, four, five, fifteen, twenty million dollar homes that are all, all over this area. But five hundred and fifteen median sale price you know, signals broadcast to the reader that hey, they know what they're doing in upscale communities. But then check out, check this out. There's so many things well done. So in the beginning they've got their recent sales in these three different communities. So it takes up two full pages, all their recent sales for 325, 350, 365, 448, 468, 480, 515, 575, 743, 845, 957. Another community goes from 335 up to 1,007,000, 955,650. Other subdivisions goes from 350 to 820 and one million five thousand dollars so get your home sold call us today first call of action right there 
call us today with a phone number, as if this wasn't a call to action, but they don't tell you why to go to the website, but there's a website. But the first call to action is to call us, and you can get property information instantly from second call of action. Get property information instantly from your phone. Get price, pictures, and information. Always bad with the mirror image of the camera here. On any active listing, wherever you are, text Klaus Team to 59559. So two calls of action right there. You can call us. You can text us. Boom and boom. So even to someone that, like me, just seeing this, that has never bought or sold a home through the Klaus team, never heard of them already, they've done a great job of impressing me. They're putting out this little mini magazine, which is basically a, a newsletter, and it's got uh, the middle page of 16, so it's 32 page. Uh, this format is known in the marketing business as a magalog. It's a combination of a catalog and a magazine, so it's a business magazine, magalog. And uh, they got a 32-page full-color one here. And so right away, they've even got something here. Maybe I can read it when it's up close to the camera. 2018 Best best Tribune. I don't know. Best of the best? I don't know. Did they get voted something in some kind of local newspaper? They got voted the best. I don't know if this, I don't think this quote, magazine, newsletter, got voted the best, maybe, but maybe they're voted the best or one of the best real estate teams. And you'll you'll see why as we go through, in case you didn't already see. Look at all these recent sales. Now, smart thing they do is they say recent sales. So they didn't put the dates on them. So how recent? I don't know, over the past six months, eight months. But if someone's thinking, holy crap, all those in the last week, last month, how recent is that? Man, these guys are selling some homes. Oh, and then they got that, got that little thing again here to see if we can read it. Oh, yeah, the best of the best in the East Valley. Okay, so here in the Phoenix area, there's the East Valley, the West Valley, probably North Valley, South Valley. I don't know that much better, but I know there's East Valley and West Valley, and here's the East Valley. And so that's pretty impressive because that covers a heck of a lot of territory. So now right away in the next pages, boom. Four reasons to sell this winter, one, two, three, four. So this is coming in a winter edition, and they're telling you to sell right now. So this is what's known as re relevant content. It's real estate-oriented content. So they want me to see some about real estate, but they do a great job of making it easy to read with a big photo, big numbers, and just four simple paragraphs that might be just one or two sentences. This first one is two sentences. The second one is two sentences. Third one, also two sentences and two say Each one is just two sentences, so bang, easy to read. And if they are giving me some good advice here, buyer demand will continue to be strong. There's less competition now. There'll never be a better time to move up. It's time to move on with your life. Of course, they say all that stuff all the time. But when they put this winter, it makes me feel, oh, these are appropriate and relevant and really good tips for me, good advice. Okay, next page, they've got an ad. And who is the ad for? For themselves, of course. They're not selling ads in their own newsletter. They're placing ads in their own newsletter. So here they're saying the old saying that uh, 211 degrees, water's hot. At 212, it boils and creates steam. And you can power a train. And that one extra degree makes all the difference. And we go that extra degree. That's what they're going to say. Yeah, we always strive to give. We strive to always give that extra degree in everything we do, blah, blah, blah. Call today to experience the difference one degree makes. So call today. Third call of... Uh, call to action, and then they've also got KlausTeam.com, their phone number again, and read over 600 five-star reviews at Zillow. Dot that zip code again, title of the magazine, a newsletter. Dot com. So over 600 five-star reviews. So that's a great call to action. They're telling me why to go to this website. And Zillow, anyone that's ever bought or sold a home and looked online, you see that very trusted, very established website gives them this third-party proof. Hey, Zillow loves us. They're objective. They're a third party. That's not us. It's not. There's not 600 reviews on our website where we weeded out the bad ones. Kept the, this is Zillow. Good, bad, whatever. They got 600 five-star reviews, and I'm assuming that five is the best. Because a lot of times reviewing systems – Four used to be the best. Now five is typical to be the best. But, you know, who knows? It would be really tricky if it was out of ten. And they said, wow, we got 600 five-star reviews, and those are milk, milk toast five stars out of ten or 20. 
but who would know that? And if I don't go there, let's just say it was out of 100. Then there are crappy reviews. But if I don't go there, maybe I think five-star reviews must be awesome. I'm assuming they are. Anyway, next page, relevant content again, about us. So boom, all about us. And you think it's about us, how crappy they are? It's about how great they are and why you should call them. Then next, we go right to irrelevant content. Now, what do I mean by that? You see, this is something about fireplace cleaning tips. So this is not relevant to buying or selling a home in particular, although maybe they'll say one of the tips is you clean your fireplace and get more money for the home, although I never heard anyone. I don't think anyone would say that. No, it's completely irrelevant. Nothing to do with buying or selling a home. But who is it relevant to? It's relevant to the who, to the target audience, to homeowners. Homeowners want to know some fireplace cleaning tips. Vacuum this. Don't sweep until that. Burn only this kind of wood. Inspect this annually. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, when cleaning your fireplace, sprinkle damp coffee grounds over the cooled ashes to keep down the dust. Cool, useful tips. I feel good. I feel like they care about me. They're helping me out. They're not just all about selling their real estate and getting me as a client. Wow, they really care. They they really like me. Okay, next one is some local market update, and they get all these, and they do it with an infographic. So they're getting my attention with an infographic here. You see these online a lot. Pinterest, Instagram, sometimes on Facebook even, and and on websites or in blog posts. Hey, thanks for all the likes. Who's here? Jeff Ducharme is here. Talking about a superstar entrepreneur. Chad Powers, Kathy, Ben is here. Don, Joe, Mike, say hello, everyone. I just see a long list of names. Hope you're enjoying this. If so, I love the likes, love the shares. Say hello. Look at all this stuff on the screen. Thank you, everybody. And so this is a really smart way, catchy way of grabbing my attention and sucking me into reading the content, if they wrote this in a just a big paragraph, all these facts and figures, my eyes would glaze over, and I'm not even going to consume the information. But this is like, oh, ah, we got a little, you know, uh, speedometer here, like, oh, and it's going up or down, and signposts of the number. Okay, great. Next page. I mean, this is fun, right? It's engaging. I'm, I'm going to turn the page. I already see that there, there might be some more helpful tips. There might be some more fun stuff. I'm flipping the page. I'm engaged. I'm involved with the mailing. Now, here's a two-page ad. Actually, crap, they did sell an ad. Check it out. They got an ad for a local concert and art center. And who is it? It's a Beatles cover band. Beatles, uh, you know, I went to see Beatlemania when I was a teenager because Beatles are my favorite group still. And so my dad took me to Beatlemania. That's what this is kind of like. It's called the Fab Four. So they're a, a Beatles tribute band, right? Tribute band, they call it. And... Uh, it's in the Aikida Theater, whatever that is, on January 25th, Friday at 8 p.m. Tickets are this much. Go get them. And so either this is an ad that this Mesa Art Center paid for or else they just put it in. Because why not? They don't need the money from the ad, but they put it in there. Again, it's irrelevant content. This is not just about buying and selling a home. This is on the target market, baby boomers. That's the ones buying affluent homes, especially in East Valley in the Phoenix area. People my age really, we remember 60s, and we remember the Beatles, and we love those days. And so they're not putting an ad for, you know, Beyonce or uh, Britney Spears or whoever's the teeny boppers and the rap music and all that. They're, they're, it's relevant to their target who. They know all about their target who, what they love, what they don't. So if you know... If you want to do something like this in your newsletter or on your website, you put a banner ad, you don't have to have the Beatles something. Or If your target market is people in their 60s, 50, late 50s, 60s, 70s, that remember and love the Beatles in the 60s and those days, you don't have to get an ad. Maybe they called the place, but if they said, no, we're not going to pay for an ad, just put it in anyway. And then your readers will feel that this is for them. It, and it brings warm and fuzzy feelings, and I'm going to flip the page and see what else will give me warm and fuzzy feelings. Oh, and speaking of which, there it is, warm feelings, <laughs> a homemade hot cocoa recipe. Again, irrelevant content. This has nothing to do with buying or selling a home. It's a recipe on how to make hot chocolate. Now, first of all, who doesn't know how to make hot chocolate? I know. You make, you put the milk and you pour in the Bosco or the or the Hershey syrup or the Nestle Quick or whatever you do. But okay, they got some homemade, some with baking. So, But again, it's irrelevant. It makes me warm and fuzzy and feel good. And I know they care about me, not just about themselves. It's not all. This is not 32 pages of buying and selling a home. Tell you, when I leave through this, I love what I saw. Here's another one. United Food Bank. 
January food drive to benefit United Food Bank, drop off canned food donations at the Klaus team office on the southeast corner of Ellsworth and Guadalajara, or call blah, blah, blah. So another, another um, ingenious kind of roundabout way of getting you to contact them, like help out United Food Bank and nourish needy people right here in Arizona, which is also speaking to a target market that's going to tend to be, in this area at least, in many cities in America, the suburbs, the affluent suburbs outside the big cities, a lot of times are conservative as opposed to liberal, because if it was liberal, it would say feed the world. Ooh, global this and global that and feed the world. But you want to uh, attract and, and, and bond yourself more with common sense, down-to-earth, conservative, you know, smart, right-thinking people. We're thinking, what do you mean global whatever and feed the world? There's hungry people right here in my community, right here in my area. Let's keep the money local and let's help out my area. Because if everyone did that all around the world, guess what? There wouldn't be global blah, blah, blah. So why doesn't everyone take care of themselves? You know, there's a guy in the White House who's fond of saying that, America first. It's a, it's a common sense, practical thing to say. And so, or, you know, of course, the, 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 his, his, uh, you know, his accusers and his haters and his, uh, you know, they'll accuse him of being uh, myopic or being racist or what nonsense you know if i want to help local arizona families does that somehow make me racist against some other race and besides i'm pretty sure they're of all races in arizona so but anyway so that's a good thing there and they're they're calling you not only to the unitedfoodbank.org/donate but right below it klausteam.com and come to our location so that's a nice um elegant way of letting you know here's where we are here's our location they could have just had the whole page say here's our location come see us but come see us and bring a can of food and feel more warm and fuzzy feeling. look at this whole page coloring page kids corner that's it kids can color the cat looking out the window at the snow with the holly on the th okay great so again irrelevant and and business owners don't know any better that aren't watching this video and don't have someone smart advising. I mean, you think these guys are my client. They're so good at this. Um, but they have somebody really good. I'm not the only one. Get somebody who knows what they're doing. If you don't like me, get somebody who knows what they're doing to advise you on this stuff. But you can see most business owners, if you ask me, 90% of business owners go out of business, right? And one of the reasons is they argue with smart things consultants uh, advise them to do. And in this case, I could see them going, really? 32 pages divided by whatever costs this much a page. You're going to tell us to pay for a page like this? How the hell is that going to sell a house? And they're just not thinking straight. What this is going to do is get people to go, oh, I'm going to keep reading. And the next time one arrives, I'm going to read that one. And the next time that arrives, I'm going to read that one. And what are they seeing in between the fun stuff of the recipe and the ad for the Beatles and the coloring page and the infographics? Well, even the infographics, they're seeing how many homes we sold and about us and call to action and come to our office. What's this next one? Who knows what this thing is? Offer Depot. The Offer Depot program was very simple, and I felt empowered. I loved it. Oh, Kathy L. sold her home through our Offer Depot program. It's our program, so it's powered by the Klaus team. So it looks like an ad for something called Offer Depot, but it's actually the Klaus team's program to help sell a home somehow. Side by side, you decide. I guess you, you, you're you going to compare. Oh, yeah, compare, decide, move. Boom. So brilliant. I mean, it looks like an ad from some third party, but that's the Klaus team who are branding themselves as OfferDepot.com. So already they got the, the zip code.com, KlausTeam.com, OfferDepot.com, multiple URLs, multiple calls to action, text, call, visit in person, if you want to just donate to charity, I mean, multiple reasons to contact these people in multiple ways. And then the center fold, the middle fold ad, boom, of course, that's an ad for them. Real estate solutions, boom. And they're showing you here, I guess, you know, you can contact us anyway on a, on a desktop, on a laptop, on a cell phone, on an iPad. And uh, you can check out our listings. We've got 10,000 online views, no matter how you want to view it. And... Or contact us here. Oops. So contact us here or go online any way you want to our website. And 
whatever. It tells you a bunch of stuff about your East Valley home. Could have said East Valley homes, but it says your. It's a magic word in marketing. Say so you or your as much as you can. What's this next one? I don't know. Let's take a look at it together. This is an ad. Complimentary dinner for two. Love it. It's a complimentary dinner for two. What an irresistible offer. Are you kidding me? Now they got an irresistible offer. I mean, this is just the wow strategy personified. Seriously, are these not my client? So complimentary dinner for two. Give me an opportunity to interview for the job of selling your home, and you'll receive dinner for two. $100 free gift card. And then this one, refer me and you eat for free. So refer me to any friend or family member considering selling their home and you receive dinner for two. So now, for, it's interesting they use the phrase refer me and give me an opportunity when it's the Klaus team. But I guess there's somebody named Klaus. And Klaus is saying, refer me and call me and I'll give you a $100 gift card just for the opportunity to interview you for selling the home. Boom, love it. Next, I don't know what this is. Oh, senior living. So this must be the name Grande Vida, Grand Vida, whatever they, they pronounce that word, all kinds of different ways around here. Some say Grand, some say Grande. Uh, I guess like the Rio Grande, then there's Grande things. So I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's something about senior living and blah, blah, blah. And if you call to action, want more? See pages 28 to 29 for more information on senior living. Great call to action there. They're moving me along. They're on page 19. They're moving me along to page 28. But in the meantime, I turn the page. Oh, look what I see. January 2019 word search. Totally irrelevant to buying or selling a home unless some of the words are. No, it's all about uh, Greek gods. Zeus, Hera, Poseidon, Hades, Ares, Cronus, Eris, Odysseus, Hercules, Medusa, Minotaur, Perseus, Sphinx, Cyclops, whatever. It's all about Greek mythology. Boom. So totally irrelevant to buying or selling a home, Phoenix, Valley, anything. It's just fun. Man, the next time this thing comes, you don't think I'm going to open it and see what recipe and what word search and what, what coloring page my kid can do. I don't have kids, but if I did, I'd be like, hey, let's see if they can color another cat. And meanwhile, I'm seeing all kinds of offers for them and all kinds of things they're doing. Damn, this is really good. Now look at this one. This is a local high school team basketball schedule. All right, so who are they playing on what night and whatever? Totally irrelevant. It's nothing to do with buying or selling a home, but it's showing we care about the neighborhood and we care about you. It's the wow strategy. The first W stands for the who. That's who you want to do business with you. Everything is about the who. You see, this page is not about the Klaus team. This is about the people receiving this magazine or interested in moving into this area. It's all about them. Love it. Look at this next one. Make a homemade bird feeder to make pine cone bird feeders. Are there a lot of pine trees around here? I don't know, but if there are, you know, you need pine cone string bird feed from the pet store and peanut butter. Tie the string to the pie, blah, 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 blah. So there you go. This is, re uh, I can't read this. Now, there's, there's one mistake there. You don't want this unreadable. I mean, I'm magnifying it here so I can read it. But, you know, that orange on white was tough for me to read in such a small font. But, and plus, this is not capitalized. This red, red T-dart, what does that mean? Red Red Ted Art? Red Ted Art. Maybe it's Red Ted Art, but that's stupid. you got to capitalize the R, the T, and the A. Then I would know. It's RedTedArt.com, Pine Cone Crafts Bird Feeders. Probably Red Ted Art, I'm guessing. This has got something to do with art to make a bird feeder. Yeah, I don't see the name on here anywhere else. So i just got to guess that it's Red Ted Art. Otherwise, I'm going to type it in wrong. Plus, I can barely read it. It's orange on white. I'm having trouble seeing it. So, uh Good to know they made one mistake, but whoever put this together for them, brilliant. Okay, next, look at this. Now, here's two of their 600 five-star reviews on Zillow.com. This is from, who's it from? Dell and Alice on Zillow. And this is from Carolyn on Zillow. And there you go. Go to Zillow. Dot that 
zipcode.com. And here's a couple of the reviews that's taken up a whole page with, I'm sure, a great testimony. Oh, Kenny. There it is. Finally, I know the guy's name. Kenny Klaus. The Kenny Klaus team. So Kenny, and they're probably using the word Kenny in here. Oh, working with Craig and Suzanne. And this one says, I've known Kenny and his team for many years. So there's some of the team there. We got Suzanne and Craig, Kenny, and I'm sure those are glowing testimonials. Okay, next page. Look at all the stuff they're doing. They're using testimonials, multiple calls to action, tying into charity, uh, giving information with the uh, all the recent homes sold and all that infographic with all the details. Now, what's this one? Transitioning from sen from home to senior care doesn't have to be. It's an article about transitioning from home to senior care. And this is all with a photo of three generations, you know, the, the grandfather, the father, and the baby. And uh, I'm sure it's all about easing them in. And so now we have KT Silver. So now they have another brand under the Klaus team, the KT Silver, which is your trusted guide through, where is it? It's over here. Your trusted guide through transitions. KT Silver, helping you navigate through the challenges associated with a senior move. So silver. Now silver is 25, a silver anniversary. Oh, silver hair. There you go. See, since I don't have any hair, I don't realize that silver hair means aged. But, uh, okay, there you go. So, oh, and look, you're invited. Here's a call to action. Again, too small, especially seniors. What are you doing here? If you want seniors to read this, look how teeny tiny this is. So you got teeny tiny italic font I mean look at I can't read that but okay I can read it in this magnify here when I'm doing a video you're invited to the Klaus team silver meet and greet with coffee and donuts so it's meet greet donuts and coffee and then look they're branding themselves on the coffee sleeve again there's the KT silver logo and here you go Klaus team slash silver now here they do it right they capitalize the K and the T klausteam.com slash silver. Why didn't they capitalize over here or that other page? Whatever. All right. Well done. Next. Find the golden key contest. It has to be them again, is it not? It has to be. They're running a contest now. So what do they got? They got, they got games, coloring, tied into charity with the food drive, they got the Beatles, uh, you know, recommend, you know, hearkening back to the youthful days of the audience, facts, figures, recipes, word games, and now we have no purchase necessary. Golden key contest, win $1,000 cash, no purchase necessary. Man, great call to action. What do we got here? Oh, and this is great. They got November's contest winner, Stefania Moore. So when you run a contest, the, the first time maybe people are like, yeah, sure, he's going to give a thousand bucks with no purchase, sure, blah blah blah. But then you get a winner, and boom, get the photo. Now even better than just this photo of the winner would have been a photo of the winner with you, Kenny Klaus, handing her a check, or even better, a thousand dollars cash. Here's a thousand dollars cash, and she'll standing there riffling out the thousand dollars, the ten hundred dollar bills, with a big smile on her face while she receives the right. That'd be even better. So we have second improvement in here. Otherwise, I mean, they're just doing fantastic. And I'm not going over with a fine-tooth comb. I'm sure if I nitpick, I'll find some other improvements I'd help them do, which, by the way, could make them thousands. And one transaction, 515,000 average home sold, 3%. You do the math. So 15 grand average uh, uh, commission on sale one little thing to get them one house sold. They just made them 15 grand. So even they ought to go to helpfromsteve.com and get my free consultation. I'll help make a lot of money, especially someone like this. If you're doing anything smart, you absolutely ought to call me because you know that you, you understand that one little change can make some big results for you. People are not doing anything. One little change gets you started. You certainly want to reach out to me. But people that are already really operating on all cylinders, they call me all the time because they know, holy crap, one little change brings me from 10 million to 12 million. Boom. So this is find the golden key. Check it out. Find the golden key in the magazine. Go to goldenkeycontest.com. Again, mistake. They should have capitalized those golden key contests. But I'm, I can read that one because I'm pretty sure it's a golden key contest. It's golden key contest. That one I understand. 
but they still should capitalize it. And we'll draw the winner on February 13th, and then they have all the weasel clause here that's so small nobody can read it, but who cares? I guess I'm not eligible if I'm an employee of the company or any of that nonsense, whatever. Meanwhile, so now i got to go back. i got to find the golden key. Where's the golden key? Did anyone see it while I'm showing through this stuff? Where's the golden key? That's what people are thinking. i got to go back and look for this golden key, which means what? Yeah, you got it. Means they're reading really carefully every page of your newsletter, your magazine. For a lousy thousand bucks, they get everyone out there reading through this really carefully. Does that could that result in one more referral or one more home sold? Means they're reading all this stuff. All right, I haven't seen it yet, so we will move on. And oh yeah, and they also had the the schedule. I mean. All kinds of great stuff. This article about seniors. I mean, so much. That's relevant content. Here's more relevant content. Neighborhood network meeting. Now, oh, that's kind of irrelevant, actually. I thought it was going to be neighborhood something about real estate. This is a neighborhood networking meeting. Connect with other local business owners and grow. There's no cost to this event. And you can come join other motivated. See, they're assuming I'm motivated. They're telling the reader. They're thinking highly of the reader, saying you're motivated. Because you're going to join other motivated area business people, introduce your business, share, blah, 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 learn, expand. See, that's called the dual path of readership, just the bold. If I don't want to read this whole thing, what do I see? Join, share, discuss, learn, expand. That sounds good to me. What do I got to do? I got to go to the Hub Grill and Bar. Here's the address every Tuesday morning for an hour of breakfast. And for more information, call that number. Every local homeowner is invited, no matter the size of the business. Boom. Even the Mary Kay and the MLMs and, and anybody is invited that's doing business. Love it. And what do you think is going to happen there? Pretty sure I'm going to be, there's going to be signage, and I'm going to be told who's sponsoring it, and Kenny Klaus is going to speak, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to get even more referrals from business. Now, here's another senior community. Canyon Winds. Is this an ad? Or is it them making something appear like an ad? Because, again, they have their silver team specializing in seniors. There's those two pages there. And now, up oh, more irrelevant content. Irrelevant to buying a home. Not irrelevant to making money with a newsletter. Absolutely necessary if you're doing it right. Is January is the perfect time to plant bare root roses? Now, my beautiful wife, Michelle, would know what that is. I have no idea what that is. And now we have tips for planting bare root roses, how to plant bare root roses, one, two, three, four, five. I love this one. Before, soak the roots in a bucket. Number two, dig a hole. See, I can do that part. Uh, 12 to 18 inches deep, two feet wide. Damn, that's wide, huh? Backfill the planting hole, two-thirds for prune the roses by one. Third. Okay, great. So great, helpful tips to plant some roses here in the winter. Now, we were 15 years, my beautiful wife Michelle and I living up in in uh, Chicago, there was no planting of roses in January. But down here, plant the roses in January, and they bloom all year long, and we love them. Next, why hire a neighborhood connection expert? I think they are called the neighborhood connection experts. I think that's they put themselves out. So this is relevant to their business. If you're getting ready to buy or put a home on the market, we strongly encourage you to call your neighborhood connection expert on the cover. Boom. That's us. Okay, so there is a ad for the person putting together this magazine. Now this tells me that maybe this is a templated, this is a subscription-based thing where any real estate agent who doesn't know anything doesn't even hire me. They just pay directly to this company, and this company puts the whole thing together and with a little input based on their area, you know, send us the schedule of a high school team or just give us, a, you know, let's do a search and find a website of a high school team and we'll do that. And But the word search, the bird feeder, I just realized this stuff, the, the, the recipes and content, I mean, this stuff doesn't have to be this realtor. So even smarter by Kenny Klaus to not even know how to do this or give a crap or know he's busy selling and buying homes and the time he's not buying and selling homes, he's hiring people to buy and sell homes and the rest of the time, he's up in the mountains in his cabin, or he's having fun, or going to a game, or doing something. And get someone like me to put this thing together. You know, what are you doing? Uh, of course, that's smart. He's not doing it himself. I should have known. And uh, the last page is the back cover, 
And there is a beautiful home. So there's like the feature listing in the month. And what does he say? Another call to action. Contact me to feature your home on next month's cover. The Klaus team. There's the number. Interesting, he doesn't say the word Kenny except for that one page and a couple of testimonials that happen to mention Kenny. Otherwise, he keeps saying, contact me and refer me and give me the opportunity to interview you. And if really says his name, just constantly calling it the Klaus team. So this is called the Neighborhood Connection. I'm guessing you real estate people out there can look it up and possibly do this yourself very easily and quickly. I love companies that do this done for you stuff, whether it's a newsletter, a book, a website, you know, assistance doing your social media for you, uh, you know, anything at all. I love when business owners are smart enough to get the pros to do it and lead themselves to what they know best. You know, somebody knows how to put this together, let them do it. Anyway, check it out. I went through it twice now. I did not find that golden key unless, holy crap, I just found it. It's right there in the centerfold. <laughs> just open automatically the centerfold. I see she's holding the golden key. But no, that wasn't it, but there it is. See, a little tricky because it's on this seam of the bottom of the photo, but there's the golden key. Now I can enter the golden key contest to attempt to win a thousand dollars. Where was that? Look at that. I found the golden key and now I can win a thousand dollars cash by I found it in the magazine. Go to goldenkeycontest.com, tell us where you found the key, and we'll draw the winner February thirteenth. This might be the winner in every one of these magazines they do all over the country. So even better than just the local real estate agent going a thousand cash, I don't know if that'll pay for itself. This could be the publisher of this thing, this this connection, the neighborhood connection thing, saying, you know, this is going out to a million people, or ten million people, who knows what. We're drawing one winner, so we're supporting our our subscribers, our the companies, the real estate agents putting this out, giving out a thousand bucks, spread them out all of them. Uh, printed by your neighborhood connection expert. Yeah, I'm really guessing now this neighborhood connections available anywhere. If you're a real estate agent out there and you're not doing a newsletter and you're, you don't have like your next, you know, a competitor smarter than you who's already doing this in your area, you ought to call this company, this neighborhood connection thing. Find them somehow, call them and do this thing. This is done right. This will make money. And if you're not in real estate, I hope you're not sitting there going, well, Steve, I'm not in real estate, so this has nothing to do with me. Dude, get a clue. This will work for any business at all. 32-page, full-color, monthly magazine, and this is mailed to me, and I don't even know who the guy is. So, of course, you mail it out to your current and former and prospects, anyone that's done business with you, current customer, client, patient, member, former ones, and future ones, the prospects you have on the list that have called you but not done business. But then you can just blanket the whole area and mail it out with a bulk rate mailing. Post is paid bulk mailing right there. Boom, and get this out there. And what the heck? Next time I'm buying or selling a home or somebody asks me, all, look, all kinds of stuff they're doing here for seniors. It's, this offer depot duck. I think all kinds of stuff they're doing. Very smart. Love it. That's it for Direct Mail Monday. Let's see if I have any questions, comments, concerns, anybody with anything about this. Jeremy Danley is here. Great seeing you. I don't see any questions, comments, concerns, so that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday for January 21st, 2018, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. A happy Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day to you and yours and everyone out there. Hope you enjoyed the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back again next Monday with another Direct Mail Monday. We'll dive into some more of my mail and share some business building tips from it. I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. I'm going to pull something out of the news. Is there anything going on in the news? Yes, I'll pull something out of the news, give you my take on it, and I usually will throw in a business building lesson as well, but at least I will just rant about something on the news as if I'm one of these non-journalists journal they think they're journalists but they're really just spewing their own point of join me then thanks for being here today over and out bye bye